morning friends let me introduce myself i am satyashekar of sy civil engineering trinity college of engineering today i am here to present my design project on the topic amphibious house along with my friend unni krishnan our project is guided by hema miss assistant professor civil department trinity college of engineering let us have a quick look on what we have in this slides the slide includes introduction objectives literature review key features project phases why this topic conclusion and reference amphibious house is a highly innovative approach to protect our houses during extreme flooding conditions it is simply a house which can float it behaves like a normal house otherwise the bottom part of the house contains a float base which helps the house to float during flooding conditions the main objectives of our project is to build a stable strategy to protect houses from floods it uses non renewable and sustainable sources of energy for the functioning of the house it enables the owner to choose various designs for doing this project we had gone through several journals and case study it includes ferro cement construction ferro cement in construction done by mohit talwar and das in may 2017 it states that when we compare ferro cement with rcc it performs it performs better against cracks precast ferro cement structures are light in weight as compared to rcc and secondly a study on the floating house for new resilient living done by chancho moon in october 2015 it helps to investigate the resilient features of floating houses and to review the possibility of floating houses as a new form of resilient living and to suggest some ideas for the planning third one floating construction by using polystyrene beads done by mayank patel rishab yadav and nisani salvi It states that polystyrene is a versatile plastic used to make wide variety of consumer products. And fourth one was about thriving with water developments in an amphibious structure architecture, done by Scott Turner and Natasha Kling in August 2015. The implementation of buoyant foundation as new construction would provide benefit to communicate at high risk of flooding. Amphibious house, a novel practice, a split meditation strategy, done by Muhammad Ibrahim and Muhammad Ali of Southeast Asia in May 2012. It states that amphibious houses with concrete pontoon is the most appropriate. Precast, precast concrete pontoon, which are filled by expanded polystyrene blocks, are one of the approaches towards economic. And nextly, next one. Amphibious architecture living with a rising bay, done by Christie Anderson in June 2014. It generates a flat, resilient design solution that is capable of rising and falling with the water. The key features of this project are: it is designed to be self-sufficient as it is flood-proof. It can be installed by hand using simple tools. Can be installed in any weather conditions. It's low impact flood protection strategy. The steps involved in construction are drawing, preparation, selection of materials, overall estimation, drawing approval from client and higher authorities, and construction activities. Foundation amphibious houses. has a point foundation which allows to float during flood while remaining on the ground otherwise in normal conditions it consists of a box like rigid structures which displaces water to provide flotation as needed and the main advantages of such type of foundations are houses remain low to ground except during a flood temporarily elevates to exactly the level required to stay above the water during flood We had done some material study to 
find out the most suitable material for the construction of amphibious houses. And we have listed the advantages of each material on the following slides. Firstly, we have pinpo as a construction material. The main advantages are it is light in weight, it is easy to handle in manufacturing, transport and construction. Easily connect, it can be easily connected using nails and screws and it can be easily shaped and modified. Sink sinkers as cladding and roofing. The main advantages are it has a very pleasing aesthetics. It is very resistant to corrosion. Excellent long life durability. Minimum maintenance. Flexible and manageable. At least 95% of this material is recyclable. Lightweight steel framework. Its main advantages are it's highly safe against fire and earthquake, easy installation and low maintenance cost, long lifetime, and absence of cracks available in joint surfaces, less weight contribution due to lighter structure. Multi wood sheet. Its advantages are it is made available in finished format and can be used as a ready made product. It's waterproof fire resistant, durable and eco friendly. It provides more thermal and noise insulation. It's more flexible, smooth and smooth finish. Next comes bamboo as construction material. Its advantages are it's easy to cut, handle, repair, reposition and maintenance. Non-polluting, it's lightweight building material and superior earthquake resistance. Next, glass fiber reinforced gypsum. They are commonly called as rapid walls as it provides speedy construction. It's made of high strength resistant glass fibers bonded with high density gypsum cement. It's used in mass scale construction of houses in a short span of time. It can be used as load bearing as well as non load bearing wall panels. Each panel constructed is 12 meter long. 3 meter high and 124 mm thickness and its main advantages are its fire resistance up to 1000 degrees celsius its earthquake resistant naturally cooler up to 4 degrees celsius eco friendly water resistance and its economical our project phases include topic selection literature reference material selection cost estimation and model making. And here comes the reason why we selected this particular topic. This is to encounter the problems of flood and losses causing due to flood to houses and to create beautiful buildings that allow occupants to enjoy living near the water safely. Conclusion. From the collected data, it would be easier to come up with new innovative design solutions. Many places affected by flood and seawater rise will be benefited by implementing this particular project. Let me take this opportunity to thank Himamis for guiding us to do this project and Alexa for giving this opportunity. Thank you and have a nice day.